Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, uh, new East Tree video. Clearly I'm going to react to that. East Tree, one of my favorite channels. And there's also a new History Matters video, another one of my favorite channels um, that I will react to too. Let's do it. How are you guys doing, by the way? You good? Hope you're doing well. If you're bad, well, that's bad. But you'll be good soon. Don't worry. Uh, my name is Connor, if you're new. I like to learn about history through YouTube recommendations. The original link to this video will be at the top of the description below. And uh, the Discord link will be right below that. Just click on it. It'll send you right over there if you have Discord downloaded. Love to have you. Pull up a chair. Join the family. More the merrier. Let's do it. World War II animated Germany versus Poland 1939. If you're not ready to learn, you're in the wrong class. Get out. Nobody wants you here. Or just chill in the back. That's fine, too. All right. In the Polish campaign, the German forces were stronger, but they did not have an overwhelming numerical superiority over the Poles. So why did it take the Germans only more than a month to completely defeat Poland? Well, weren't the Soviets... The Germans had two key advantages. Their army was larger also, and had better equipment than Polish forces. Air Force. And also, the Germans possessed tanks, which would give them greater punch and much faster movement. Poland used two strategies to counter the German advantages. The Poles had made an alliance with Britain and France so that they could put pressure on Germany from the West. In this way, Germany would have to keep a large part of their forces there and could not deploy a strong force against Poland. In order to counter Germany's superior offensive capabilities such as tanks, Poland had adopted another strategy. It had created two defensive lines. The main line was behind the Vistula River and its tributaries and they could retreat to a shorter line on the, the road river? behind the Vistula River and its tributaries and they could retreat to a shorter line on the Romanian bridgehead if things went badly. But there was a problem. Poland could not start the war with all of its forces deployed behind its defenses. Otherwise there was a chance that Germany could capture part of the Polish territory without fighting and Britain and France would not declare war on Germany. So Poland deployed its forces forward to the border to receive the German attack and make Britain and France declare war on Germany. After that, they would have to make a difficult retreat under German pressure. Uh, okay, that's pretty smart, I guess. Um, so they're thinking they could take that northwestern kind of Polish corridor without any uh, real declaration of war and having... Great Britain and France not intervene, and so they're kind of going over there for the invasion and then quickly going to come back so they kind of have the best of both worlds. To their main defenses. On September the 1st, 1939, the Germans launched the attack along the whole front. The Poles had established an intermediary defensive line where they planned to halt the initial German Am advance. Am I wrong? Weren't In the, the north, Soviets the also? The Germans encircled some of the Polish units and re-established land connection east? with East Prussia. In the south, the Germans reached the southernmost part of the Polish defensive line. They then launched several tank attacks against it. In the south and center, the Poles were able to contain the Germans, but in the north, the Polish lines were broken. The Poles had their reserves ready to cover the northern direction. They also pulled back their forces in the south. Soon, the retreating forces ran into trouble as they were pursued by fast-moving German tanks. In the north, the Polish reserves re-established the front line and for some days could continue the withdrawal. But then the German tanks broke through once again. This time the Poles did not have any reserves to send against them. By that time, Poland might have benefited from a French attack on the Western Front, but the Allies had not expected the events to take place so quickly and did not give effective assistance to Poland. Bullets. Polish forces decided to launch a desperate counterattack against the German forward units to allow their forces to escape. However, most of the Polish units were too disorganized to counterattack, and in the south their forces were encircled. The Polish counterattack in the north allowed some of the Polish forces to withdraw to the Warsaw area, but soon the Germans turned their attention towards the counterattacking force and cut it off. The Germans succeeded in their plan to cut off most of the Polish forces before they could reach their main defenses. By that time, they had already breached the Polish defenses from the north. Ten days earlier, the Germans had reached the Polish main defensive line from the north. 
The Poles misjudged the situation and their troops were out of position, which allowed the Germans to find a weak spot in the Polish defenses and cross the river. They did that in just a few days. That's crazy. The Poles attempted to make a stand behind another river line, but the Germans used momentum to cross it before the Poles had readied their defenses. The main Polish defensive line was now breached from the north. The Polish forces were now ordered to retreat to their final defensive line at the Romanian breachhead. They, they keep trying to retreat and it's just, the Germans just keep like in circle, in circle, in circle, and I guess it, this must have been the first time where, I, I'm pretty sure it was the first time where you had real lightning war, tank warfare, with all these huge divisions of tanks just going behind, capturing, behind, capturing. I, I've said this before, the I see no matter what the time period is, whether it's ancient Rome and ancient Greece before that, or the Thirty Years of War, or World War II, or whatever, Crimean War, it's Napoleonic Wars, it's always been encirclements of enemies, encirclements of enemies, and it does make sense why that would be the norm. Part of them ignored the order and remained to defend Warsaw. I got During the forces were now ordered to retreat to their final defensive line at the Romanian breachhead. Part of them ignored the order and remained to defend Warsaw. During that time, the Polish units in the south had been falling back. The Poles were not able to hold the solid front and the faster moving German units bypassed them and crossed the main Polish defensive line with little opposition. They now moved to capture the center of the Polish resistance at Lvov. The Germans were unable to take Lvov, but they cut off the Polish units that attempted to fall back to the town. The Germans were now in position to prevent the rest of the Polish army from reaching the Romanian bridgehead. The next Polish forces approached from the west. The Germans moved in from several directions and cut the Poles off from all sides. After the Poles could not break through the German defenses, they surrendered. The Germans were not in a good position to easily destroy the Polish force. What was communication like in 1939 for the Germans? So did, were, this might seem like a stupid question, I don't care, I'm gonna ask it. Were walkie-talkies like a, a, or a form of, not walkie-talkie, but a form of like onboard tank communication device or was it more like couriers i just forces coming from the north but by that time the soviet union had joined the conflict the, and obviously the it takes a lot Polish, of but by um, that coordination we're not in a good position to easily destroy the polish forces coming from the north but by that time the soviet union had joined the conflict and attacked the undefended polish border from okay. the east all right the red army quickly advanced and cut off the retreat path south for the polish forces i thought the they no so i learned choice. something big i thought that it was almost like a simultaneous rush uh soviet and german offensive but the germans were a few weeks ahead but to break through the retreat path south for the polish forces the Poles had no choice but to break through the Soviet or German lines to escape to the south. They chose to attack the Germans, but they were unable to break through and surrendered. With that, most of the largest formations of the Polish army had been destroyed. Without any help from the outside, the Polish defenders in Warsaw surrendered to the Germans. By early October, the Soviets and the Germans had finished mopping up the remaining Polish forces and the campaign was over. So. Why was Poland defeated only in a month? You can see from the campaign that the reasons the Poles hoped to win the war did not come into play. Poland gave up its defensive positions in order to be sure to get the help from Britain and France. And then but they couldn't no one get expected back in time. the Germans to advance so fast, and Britain and France were not ready to give Poland significant aid so early. So Poland could not utilize the foreign aid nor its defensive advantages. Meanwhile, the Germans could make full use of their stronger army and tank formations, and this resulted in quick Polish defeat. It is time to pay respects to the E-Company for its contribution to the coverage of the Polish campaign. You may want to join its ranks, as in the next episode we will continue on our way east to look at a long but often overlooked conflict between two great powers.
What one? Awesome channel. I love this channel. Guy's accent is cool, too. Uh, yeah, awesome video. Uh, Poland really didn't... You know, I guess they had the best plan they could have hoped for is quickly go get the British and French in the war, come back in time behind defensive, you know, rivers and defensive areas, a line. But the Germans were just too fast with their offense and Blitzkrieg and tank warfare. And the Air Force, I'm pretty sure, played a big part too. They didn't really mention much, but uh, love it. Love history. Great uh, episode, great channel. And I'll be back soon with another video. See you guys next time.